Hello everyone, I'm here once again to show you something that I have in my collection. This is one of the weird things that I have. This is the Cool Baby X7, which is a portable Famicom clone. I think I'm saying that right, Famicom, Famicom. Anyway, um, so it plays, it does not do emulation. It actually takes cartridges and it plays um, Famicom games only. It is a 60 pin cartridge adapter, so it can only play things like that look like this and not like this. <laughs> so um, don't make the same mistake that I've made. I thought, hey, I could put my old Nintendo games in here and it'll work great, but it doesn't even it doesn't even get in there. It doesn't even fit. So anyway. So here it is. It looks funky. It looks like it was made in someone's basement, which possibly I did see pictures. Um <laughs> But it, it, it definitely looks industrial looking. It looks cool. It looks homemade. It's got an acrylic case. Very cool looking. It's very exciting. When I saw this online, I had to buy it. Because I'm like, this is, this is so cool looking. It's, it's just different. And it's portable. So I like portable gaming stuff. So um, it's a 4.3 inch screen. It plays 8-bit games. Um, it costs about, I think about like $80, um, well, maybe, maybe a little bit less now, but it's like $70, $80 depending on, um, where you get it. I got it from AliExpress. Um, it comes with a cartridge, um, not this one, but it comes with one that's like a 501 game, 500 games on one cartridge. Um, it's the same deal where there are duplicate games on there, hacks of games, some good ones. Um, it's okay. I got rid of it the second I got it because I, I really don't like cartridges like that. I don't I don't like to own them. I, I got rid of it immediately and ended up buying. Just that way I knew like I'd get to test it and you know that sort of thing. So um, it's pretty it's pretty interesting this thing. It has um, the controls, the buttons feel good. Um, the base of it has changed over the years. Um, if you look at an older model, there's all kinds of switches and buttons at the bottom, but this is like the newer model. Um, and this has the on-off switch, no big deal. It has um, audio out, AV out, so you can basically connect it to um, a TV. I hear it doesn't work very well. I haven't tried it. I I'm not really into that. If it had HDMI, maybe, but I hear it doesn't work very well, so I'm not even gonna bother. I don't care, but I hear it doesn't work very well. Um, also, it has a USB, this is weird. So this USB is literally for if you wanna use this thing as a battery, that's all it's for. So if you you're just happen to have this thing with you and your phone's dying, you can charge your phone off of it, which um, I think is very interesting. Um, and then it has um, the recharging, the typical um, micro USB for charging. Um, it's really cool when it's charging. There's like um, some little lights that light up and you can see the level of uh, how, how much it's charged. If it's one light, then it's pretty low, um, that sort of thing. I think if I even turn it on, it'll even show you. Um, it's kind of super bright right now, but it's showing uh, three lights. Wow, it's super bright. But it's showing, how can I possibly... Oh, it's super bright. But anyway, it's three lights. Um, you'll have to take my word for it. There are four lights! Um, it's three three LEDs. And after you turn it off, it'll even just show the, the lights for a little while after just to remind you of the level, which is which is interesting. One other thing that I, I totally forgot about it's, um, is the uh, controller port on the bottom. This thing is really weird. Um, I mean, you can put a controller in, that's fine. Or you can use the splitter that it comes with if you want to play with more people. It looks so bizarre. 
but they included it for free, so um, that's kind of cool. But man, does it look it looks uh, it looks rough. But I'm sure it works. I'm sure four people want to play off of this thing at the same time. Um, <laughs> I suppose connected to a screen, if it worked, um, it's possible. I think at that point, you should probably just get a regular standard Famicom and call it a day. This thing, this whole thing, is very um, interesting. Um, I did some reading on this. Uh, some dude took this apart and found some interesting things. So there's batteries in here that are wired parallel, which is interesting to me. I, I do know a little bit of elect about electronics. Um, I know that's a weird thing to do for batteries. I have no idea why you do that, but it still works. I'm guessing if one of the I'm guessing if one of the batteries dies, this thing will still because they're in there. You can't change the batteries in this thing unless you take it all apart and start soldering. But there, I'm guessing if one of the batteries dies, it'll still go. So even if one dies and on its way to America. Um, it's going to still work, which I guess is why you would do something like that. Kind of makes sense. But it's just weird. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about so this let's talk about the game. So it did come with the, the cartridge that I got rid of. I did buy this Super Mario. Can't play this. That's okay. That's fine. Um, and I also bought the N8 uh, cartridge, which I'll talk about. Um, pretty interesting what this is about. Uh, a little shady, but it is cool. So, um, overall, the hardware in this thing is pretty awesome. My only complaint, um, which I'll show you. So, the cartridge goes in pretty easily from the top. You just snap it in and it's in there really good um, but my problem with this is that even with the acrylic case um, all bolted down nicely there's nothing on the top um, they really should have put like a, like a, a piece of acrylic here uh, to prevent your cartridge from being able to move like this um, this is enough movement to screw up your game I've tried it it, do, it does uh, freeze your game and that sort of thing it's uh, it's never good to pull a cartridge out uh, during gameplay. Um, this will happen um, pretty easily if you're not careful or if you're on a bus playing this thing. I can't imagine any of well, this thing uh, looks like a bomb practically. A bomb? Um, I can't imagine people bringing this on a bus or a plane or something, but if they do, um, just the right, right, amount, right, the right amount of movement um, could screw up your game. So, um, but. Um, so let's turn it on. Let's try it. All right. Um, the screen, even though it looks big, um, it is a little grainy. It's not that great to me. It's, it looks low quality. Um, it's sad, really. You really expect it to be better, but so let's, let's play it. Um, my initial problem with this thing was that it was too loud and the original model had a volume switch underneath but there's no volume switch anymore but now you have these extra buttons that you can push to lower and raise the volume so you have to hold this multi-function key and push i think it's yeah so I had to write them down because I don't I didn't remember. This thing didn't even come with instructions, and I never read instructions, but this time I needed it. Um, and I had to look up um, what other people have found out about this thing. So anyway, so it's working, and no complaints really. I didn't really see a problem until I realized that it's a little slow. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the music or just by what's happening here, but it is slow. It's just a little bit. Like if you listen to music, if you just watch the movements, it's a little slow. And I've played this game so many times. 
I can just tell that it's not happening. It's just slow. And that's not cool. It's a it's a deal breaker for me. Um, not being able to change the volume is a deal breaker, but now that I figured it out, um, I like it a little bit more. But this slowness, there's nothing you can do about There's no adjustment for this. All games are slow. It's not just Mario Brothers. It's not, it's just, I don't know. It's just enough slowness. I mean, you can still play it. If you don't know any better, it's fine. But if you're, you know, if you're getting this for nostalgic reasons, you're gonna you're gonna be like, wait a minute, this isn't this isn't right. Something's not right here. It's slow, unless you're playing like chess on this thing. It's just not. It's just everything is just a little bit slower than you expect. The music's a little slower. Um, the music's a little tinny, but not too bad. Um, I'm guessing with headphones, it would probably be better. Um, but it's just I don't know the quality of this just isn't right. Um, so, it's sad, but it's the way the system is. So, one of the things I wanted to show you, so, I got, I got this, um, this guy here, the Famicom, um, N8, which is, um, has, it can take an SD card, you can fill it with games. So, it's a ROM card, um, and it's a cheap one. Um, these probably go for about a hundred, but if you get one of these cheap ones, it's like 60 bucks. Yeah. So, and this one um, works well in here. Um, it will show you a list of all the games. And you can just play whatever you want. Um, I don't like, it's kind of squeezes the text. Um, in here, but um, you can um, play whatever you want, and this kind of solves the problem where you, if you had a N Nintendo game that you want, a Nintendo, a NES game that you wanted to play, um, you could just put it on this cart and play it. Um, and these are really hard to read, but let's load up Mega Man 2. If you know this game as well as I do, so select and start. So this cart, this cart's great. Um, it's cheap, um, and I got it solely for this reason to keep it with it. So if I do want to play a Nintendo game portable without using an emulation, I could use this. But just listen how slow this is. It's rough. Oh man. And I love this is my favorite intro to a uh, NES game ever. Um, I think multiple people would agree with me. It's, it works, but man, it is slow. It might be worth it to you to have this, but it's so slow, it's, it's like, how can this not handle this? Is hard, this is a hardware, 8-bit hardware, what's the problem here? It does work, it's a unique item, I just don't, it's not a prize uh, possession in my inventory. Uh, if you're interested in the Famicom N8 ROM cartridge, a link to purchase it will be below. If you would like more information on it, if you'd like me to do a video on it, please tell me in the comments below. I would, I would love to do a review on it, just the cartridge alone. That'd be great. So, should you get the Cool Baby X7? Hell no. Don't do it. Don't do it, you'll regret it. I regret it. I'm sure everyone that has this thing regrets it. It's a neat little thing, but it's not good enough. It doesn't play like it should. I'm tempted, since I have the ROM card, I'm tempted to just get a regular Famicom and just use that. It's just not, it's just not what it should be. Whoever made this should be ashamed. They really should make it the right speed. It's just not, it's something, it's a nice invention, but it's not what it needs to be. 
And because of that, I just, I can't, it's just not good. So uh, don't do it. Stay away from it. Take it from me. And that's it. If you, if you have any comments, if you have one of these and you want to complain, please do here. That would be great. If you still are tempted to get one, I'd be very curious why. Or if you just found out some tweak or something to make this better, that would be interesting. I haven't found anything. I know you can change the screen settings. I found that out after. But other than that, um, just stay away from this one. For sure. Even if you're a collector, I don't even, it's not even, I don't know. It's just not good. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. All right.